Hey guys and welcome back to the shop. So I finally got the LC2 back from Innovate Motorsports and I did open the package and look and the serial number on this, the one that they returned is not the same serial number as the one I sent. Uh, they sent no description, no notes, no anything in the package. They just sent me this in a box and that was it. So I guess I am left to assume that the LC2 that I returned to them was bad. I mean, what else can you assume? Because they obviously did not ship back the same one. They sent me a new one. Customer service with Innovate was, dare I say, mom and popish. Uh, when I called them, it was just very, very informal. They just basically answered the phone as hello. And then I was like, uh, is this Innovate Motorsports? Yes, it is. How can we help you? I told them my problems. And this was the second or third time I called. Told them, you know, what I was having problems with the LC2. It was killing oxygen sensors. And they said, just just type up a description of everything you've done and just send it back to us. And so I did. I printed out a nice paper with everything that I had tried and had, that I had followed all the instructions, you know, two feet back from the collectors uh, between 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock as far as mounting them and all that. They just sent it back. So I did not do anything with it. So I'm going to put list this for sale on eBay and uh, this is going away. Also going up on eBay is the DLG-1. So slightly used, like I said, 300 miles on it. That, and there's the little extension cable, patch cable. Um, it's got the little white face gauge with it. And the two wires. And I may sell these actually separate. Because, you know, I don't know. Anyway, silver face gauge and a sticker. But I'm going to list all that for sale on eBay. And innovate. I know a lot of guys have had a lot of good luck with them, but I'm just going to give it a thumbs down. I don't know. Zetronics has been in the car for almost 500 miles now. No issues. Very happy with it. Super simple to install. All I did was plug the thing in. I sent my config file back to Chris Richards, and he went ahead and added the Zetronics config to my file. And uh, <clears throat> I literally uploaded that to the ProEM computer. I plugged the Zetronics system in and just cranked the car and went. And there was no calibrating of sensors. It was just dead, stupid, simple. And I would implore Pro-Am, and Chris, if you ever end up seeing this video, offer Zetronics as a uh, option with the Pro-Am computer. I mean, my gosh, just for daily drivers like me. I mean, really, how much are you gonna get out of calibrating these oxygen sensors every six months or every 10,000 miles? Maybe you get a little bit of a performance boost out of it, I don't know. But just driving around town like I do and, uh, you know, occasional trip to the drag strip or whatever. I don't know. Zetronics is working great. That was really the point of this video was just to update you guys. You know, Innovate did finally send it back. I'll put the eBay link down in the description below in case anyone's interested. Uh, and like I say, the DLG1 here was working great. The oxygen sensor that was hooked to it never had an issue. It was only the oxygen sensor that was hooked to the LC2 and, uh, Obviously, the one that I sent back was bad because they sent me a new one without an explanation as to why. So that's great. Whatever. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.